Senior man of God, can you allow your associate to strengthen you? Oh, senior man of God, what if your oil for the next level is with your member? Before oil, God must humble you. Your real oil may not come from who you respect, so that you must humble yourself to get the oil. From today, I've turned him into the oil bearer. Be careful who you meet. Be careful. You may be handsome than them, but they may be the oil bearers. You may be more intelligent than them, but they may be oil bearers. Sir, do you know when he was later? It was an old man who has lost touch with ministry. An old prophet who has lost touch with ministry was the one that anointed him for him to grow in wisdom. It was an old man. The moment the old man finished, he said, Lord, let me die. That should tell you that the man has no use on earth again. Sir, your oil can come from a retired man of God, not the current one, not the... Not the one you are mentioning his name. Not, 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 not the one, not the one. Your oil may come from the one who has no member now. His first oil came from a man who has no church member. A man with church member will not be praying for death. He will have the desire to keep impacting people. His second oil came from a man called John the Baptist, who didn't even have a place among civilization, eating locusts and sleeping in the wilderness. The man himself said, I'm not worthy to lose your shoe. He said, suffer all righteousness to be fulfilled. So the one that anointed him the second one was far lower than him, but he humbled his heart. He got his third anointing from an encounter with Satan. The Bible says, and angels came and strengthened him. And he returned in the power of the spirit. Do you know angels that can't go close to him in the heavenly realm were the ones that came to strengthen him. In Gethsemane, the Bible says, and an angel came and strengthened him. Senior man of God, can you allow your associate to strengthen you? What if your oil is with your member? Oh, senior man of God. What if your oil for the next level is with your member? Do you know who anointed him for his final life, barrier and death? It was a woman. Kai. Before oil, God must humble you. Your real oil may not come from who you respect, so that you must humble yourself to get the oil. Lord, give me the heart, so that I will not miss the carry of my oil. Give me that heart. Because Jesus knew the mystery of that anointing. He knew it. So he could have said, it's not a woman to do this. At least Peter should do this. It's not a woman like Mary. Because those days, women were not even counted. So for God to let a woman anoint you is demeaning. Because women were not counted among population. That was to teach Jesus humility. Humility. It was after everything is said and done that the Bible says in the book of Hebrews that he learned obedience through the many things he suffered. One of the suffering was for a woman to anoint him. Because those days, women are not permitted for the, the service of the house of God. And Jesus knew the mystery. This is fulfilling Psalm 23. He knew it. But he has to allow the woman to anoint. Other version says he anointed him from the head to the toe. John says feet. Luke says from head to the toe. Do you know that Eli made a lot of errors? But there's one thing I love about Eli. An old priest humbled himself and went to Samuel and said, I know my word is with you. Give me my oil, God has spoken to you. He said, if you don't give me my oil, God will turn against you. Give me my oil. You feel too big. You are about to allow oil bearer to walk away. You are feeling too. That was the problem of Miriam. That was the problem of Miriam. She was still seeing Moses as a common man. If it when God turned Moses as their oil bearer, he was still seeing as a. Is this not the boy I took care of? And then I'm Jerry Moses. When I started the prophetic business, you where were you, Moses? Where were you? I was buffing you. I was clothing you, Moses. I was part of the people that guided your step. So that Pharaoh will not catch you and kill you. And today you think that God will choose you above me. A format keke. But in the realm of God, I'm higher than you. There are some people who will never accept the position of Moses until God teach them a lesson. And it was only Miriam because I'll teach you a lesson. So that you forget about your experience of bathing Moses from today. You forget your experience about raising Moses from today. From today I've turned him into the oil bearer. Be careful who you meet. Be careful. You may be handsome than them, but they may be the oil bearers. You may be more intelligent than them, but they may be oil bearers. Someone can pour oil on David. And from that day, even lion strength is submitted to David. From that day, a young boy can kill a lion. Not because of anything, because somebody poured oil on him. Without a, an oilless head, go and face a lion and see something. Let an oilless head face a bear and see something. That's why we never heard that he killed a lion until after oil was poured on him. Fear your oil bearer. Jesus knew my oil bearer is John. So he could say that among men that are born of women, there is none greater than John. He knew. You are too proud and you have taken it on your oil bearer. Give me the heart to handle my oil bearer. The oil bearer can be a young girl. Your oil bearer can be poor. It can be your security man. 
your oil bearer. One day your security man can just come to you and say, I had a dream. Say, can I pray with you? That is how you will get another 40 years added to your life. Resist that prayer, you will die that day. Oil bearers are scattered, but we look at the appearance and we let them go. Lord, I need the humbleness of heart. Help my heart so I don't miss who is bringing the oil. Help my heart so I don't miss who is bringing my oil. Lord, show me mercy to handle my oil bearer. Lift up your voice.